Hello class, this video is about how to turn in your assignments in Google Classroom. So a ton of students, um, most students, um, when I make a project in Google Classroom and I ask students to turn it in, they go ahead and turn in the assignment but forget to actually um, attach their file to it. And so you do need to make sure that you submit the the file or files as well as mark the assignment as turned in. So there's actually two things you need to do and a lot of students will just go ahead finish the assignment and say and click on the turn in button but never actually give me any of the files or any of their work. So this um, tutorial is um, just showing how you actually turn in um, how you actually submit your files and turn in your assignment. So there, there's actually two parts. So um, I've just joined this class right here. I've added my uh, fake student account so that I can see exactly what students are seeing. Seeing, And so I'm in the classroom, so I'm going to go ahead and click on classwork right here. And I have a project right here called the Sample Science Fair Table and Chart Project. I'm going to go ahead and click on there. And so all of the requirements, all the videos, everything you need to know is right there. Um, I have some instructions here. Now let's say that I've finished the assignment because this is a this is a place where most students mess up on. Now I'm done with the assignment. How do I actually give it to Mr. Yang? How do I actually turn it in? So um, I'm gonna number one. I'm gonna click on the view the assignment. And so what's gonna happen here is you're gonna see right here your work. Um, it's assigned. Most students will go ahead and just press this button right here and say, yep, I'm done with it. And I would like to take your word and for it, but <laughs> you know, that's just you saying, yeah, I finished it without showing me anything. I can't, there's nothing for me to see. You haven't actually even given me any files so I can actually check it and grade it. There's nothing there. If you click on that button when you're done, you're just saying I'm done but you haven't given me anything so you do need to click on this add or create button right here alright and it's gonna pop up these options here so it depends on what you're gonna do are you going to if you've already finished the assignment are you going where did you save it are did you save it to your computer well then you'd click on this button right here and navigate to it um, did you do it using Google Drive itself whether you use um, Google Docs or Google Slides or Google Sheets or something else well then you would click on here is your work somewhere else like you made a YouTube video or something like that and it's not even in any of these places well then you might want to just give me the link to it so that's what you do here you'd actually do that and then after you do one of these three options now you can go ahead and just start a new one if you haven't made anything you just you choose one of these but usually students will go ahead and they'll already have their documents done before they click on this button here so um, but yeah I mean it could work the, anyway there after you go ahead and do that then you'll click on mark it as done so let me just demonstrate I'm gonna click here and let's say I did the work already in Google Drive so I'm gonna click on Google Drive it's gonna show me my drive and it's gonna show me what recent things I've done um, you know, obviously, if it's not this, you can always scroll down and, and see maybe it's a different project somewhere else. Um, or you can actually even just search for it if you're like, yeah, I, I, that, you know, it's not, you know, I did this uh, last week and it's just showing me my most recent stuff. Well, then just type in the name and it'll search for it. But let's just say this is it. You click on it, click on add. Voila, it's going to attach that. And then you click on this button here. Here it is turn it in you have to turn it in okay that is how you do it now let's say let me just go ahead and click on it one attachment will be submitted yeah yeah that's fine turn it okay so see now you've done it properly you've given me the file and you've hit the turn in button the turn in button now let's pretend you you either did the did did it wrong or you forgot something or you're like oops I submitted the wrong file or something went wrong and you're like wait I need to make some changes well what you can do is you can actually hit this unsubmit button yes I really do want to unsubmit it and so let's say you know what that was the wrong file 
Well, I'm just going to hit the X on it. <clears throat> I'm going to hit this plus sign, add or create again. And let's just say, you know what? No, it's, it wasn't on my Google Drive. That's the wrong file. I actually saved it to my computer. Well, then click on this and navigate to where you actually put it. Now, you can either drag or drop a file onto here, or you can click on here and navigate to it. So I'm going to click on there. I'm going to go to downloads. And let's just say, you know what? It is... Uh, yeah, it is this Spongebob pic right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK on that. And I'm going to hit the upload button right here. OK, and there it is. And again, you hit the turn in button. The turn in button is the one that you want to hit. And then it will be I will have the file and it will be marked as completed. So let me hit turn in and yes I really do want to turn that in even though that's the wrong file but you get the idea. So that's what you need to do. Make sure you do that. Make sure you don't just hit the um, you know that the turn in button without actually giving me a file. Okay good luck with that. Feel free to ask me any questions um, whether on Google Classrooms or email me if you have any questions or need any help. Okay God bless. Talk to you later.